Okay, so if you're watching this video, it could be because you've heard of the craze of making McDonald's french fries at your house. And uh, I've seen many, many uh, recipes and videos on it. And uh, I've been on this a week and a half. And I think I have a couple of points and tips that I think is going to help make it even closer than anything you've seen. And I'm, even, I'm using an air fryer, but take my word, you can use whatever method you want, deep fryer, whatever. When you see the method and, and, and the tools I'm using that gets the size and the flavor right, I think you'll be impressed. I'm John Sanders, also known as Jelly007. Let's make some McDonald's french fries at home. Okay, so if you kind of followed the, the, the McDonald French fry copycat recipes, you'll know that uh, not long ago they kind of released everything and you can even look on their website and you'll see their ingredients which include a beef flavoring. And that's what people say makes them taste so good. And I kind of agree, it does help. And uh, one of the things that I ran across recently that kind of inspired this video was this right here. It actually cuts the french fry to almost this exact size. I mean, it is it's simple, it's easy, it's cheap. I paid $21 for it at Kroger. And there, there it is, it's a tower fry cutter by Progressive, and it's made, it's called Prep Works. Here it is. Uh, I don't have links on my channel at this time, so right here is where you can find it, Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, there's several places that have it. Brand Smart has it for $16.88. But like I said, I got it at Kroger. So to get off of that right quick, the thing it is, the thing that they kind of, that the copycat is going on is you just take a potato and I'm going to peel it because that's more authentic to the McDonald's. You actually don't have to, but I'm going to. I'm going to peel this potato. We're going to slice it up. And then I'll explain it a little better, but we're going to soak it in beef broth and a little bit of sugar, which again, if you've been following this uh, copycat recipe, you already know some of that. So I'm going to get that peeled, get it cut up, and we're going to get it soaking. Be back. Okay, so to kind of show how easy this is to use and why I like it is, uh, there it is, there's a potato. I mean, I left some of the eyes in, but all I do is I take it like this right here. I set it right where I want it and I bump it with my hand. And then you put this on. In fact, I'll do it where you can see it come through. And that is all there is to it. Now, I'm, I'm about to explain to you in just a minute what all is right here. And uh, as soon as I get these, because these have to soak, we're going to let them soak a little bit, but right now, there they go. I'm fixing to show you why I like this better. I'll be back. Okay, so here is what I think is my secret <laughs> that, that, is, that is making this work so much better. It, if you read, this is from McDonald's website. It says right here, you can go look at the ingredients on French fries. It says they add Dex Roast, which is sugar, and then uh, they, they have their suppliers add a natural beef flavor. Well, that's what all the copycat McDonald's people are are going on by that statement right there and it's a good one and it makes a good uh it makes a good french fry obviously mcdonald's sold millions well what i ran into was every every beef flavored broth i found including bouillon or anything you can think of i could only find one that had that didn't or that didn't have uh celery and carrots and onions and this is as close as I could get. Now, other than making your own, which I, I saw a recipe on all recipes. I'm not going to go that far. But they have one for making your own beef broth where you completely control everything that's in there. So, I mean, you can see right here, there's not a lot of things. I could bring out my others. And I don't want to because there's no need in it. You, if you want to make what I'm doing, when you go in your store... Find one that doesn't say carrots or find one that doesn't say celery. And because everything I did, all I could taste was the celery or the carrots. Now, I'm using sugar. A lot of people were using, uh, say, uh, a corn syrup. And I don't want to put their name in there either. But the same one I've used all my life has a vanilla flavoring. So I didn't use corn syrup. I used sugar. 
And I think I have, honestly, I think I've got as close as, without making your own broth, I think this might be as close as you're going to get. Like I said, whether you're air frying, uh, deep frying, or oven frying. But anyhow, these like another uh, 22 minutes, and I'll be back, and we're going to preheat this to 400 degrees and get these started. Okay, so right quick, I listened back on my video, and I realized I didn't say I put about a half a container of this, just enough to cover the fries. You don't want to waste it. You know, all you got to do is cover them, and one tablespoon of sugar. And that's what I used right here. Stirred it up, got it to melt real good, and then dumped those fries in. But now you know. Okay, so I'm down to about a little less than two minutes. And what I'm going to do is bring these out. Now I have kind of moved them around uh, along the way and kind of uh, try to knock some of that starch off of them. That's why people soak them. And uh, I'm going to lay them out right here and dry them off. And uh, give this a few more minutes to preheat. Uh, you can see it's it's already preheated according it said add food in other words but I had I had it set for 10 minutes at 400 degrees so I'm going to do this right here flatten them out just to let you know and then I'm going to dry them real well like that so that's what I'm going to be doing and when I get these dried off and a couple more minutes pass we're going to put them in okay so what I've done kind of roll them up let them sit a minute uh, right now it, in fact there it goes time is up on the 30 minute soak and all I'm going to do is to open this up well and I, by the way I'm going to use a thermo pen we're going to be looking for around 190 to 200 so I'll stop this from buzzing me we're going to open it up right now I'm going to spray it spray the basket I'm going to spray these fries a little bit roll them around just a touch and spray them again and then we're going in with them i'm not sure how much you can see on the video well you can't but <laughs> take my word i'm spraying them with uh, avocado oil that's what i'm spraying everything with so right now i'm gonna do is drop them in and we're gonna make some mcdonald's french fries at home and that's one potato's worth i didn't cut the other one i i, I rarely well during all my tests all I've done is one potato at a time. Now you can see, you could probably get more than that in this particular air fryer. You just don't want to crowd them, of course. So I'm going to set that there. I'm going to go ahead and set that time back to say, I don't know, we'll put it on, we'll put it on 10 just to be easy to keep up with. I don't think it'll take more than 10. It doesn't normally take but about nine, but we're going to watch. Put it there, my pen. Be back. Okay, so I'm back at the Golden Arches to show something that's kind of a misconception by a lot of people that, that, that are doing this copycat recipe, and it is that they are a crispy fry. Well, I mean, they're not per se crispy. So, I mean, if you're trying to make a McDonald's fry, uh, they're not exactly, you know, crunchy. But there you go. Now you know. There's one to straighten that up. <laughs> okay, so around the four or five minute we shake them around a little bit and you can see they're nowhere near ready back in all right we're right at eight minutes or so and we're going to take a temp reading shake them around a little bit and probably pull them but let's see well they look pretty good you can see they got some brown on them let's see what the temps are that one right there looks like a good one to test uh you have to kind of get all the way to the middle it's a little tricky 197 well 204 so that one is definitely done we'll check this one you know what let's get one out on the side just for the fun of it uh it is uh well i went all the way through it's it's trickier than it looks i'll just take this one 203 204 these french fries are done and uh we're about to put them right here while they're still hot but you can see them right there I'm going to take this to kind of hold that basket in, and we're going to put them right here. There they are. Now, the most important part, a little bit of salt. I'm going to put a lid on them and shake them up. And open them back up where they can breathe. 
And we are done with McDonald's french fries. And I'm telling you, there may be a slight bit of difference. Now, these are from lunch. <laughs> this is eight, nine hours ago. And they may, there may be a little bit of a difference in the look, but uh, not enough to worry about. Take my word. They taste really similar. And we're going to let them cool just a minute. And I'm going to put them on a plate and uh, just see how they are. I'll be back. Okay, so there is my version of a McDonald's french fry and uh, now you got to keep in mind these are <laughs> you can see these are from lunch <laughs> they're dried out a little bit but they're they're not off bad it, it's it, and the flavor is really close and uh I think you'll find the same thing if you try it uh hey I guarantee you kids love them you saw that eight minutes now eight you know eight to nine minutes for a shoestring this size potato <laughs> to cook in an air fryer, uh, no oil to mess with. I'm, I'm telling you, everybody, that, and I used to be the same way. Everything had to be oil fried. Not since I got one of these, and I was a big time oil fryer, and uh, I'll get off of that. I promise you, if you ever try, start trying this, you'll see what I mean. Uh, this right here, and like I said, now that that is the version I found, and I'm, you know, I, any version you can find that doesn't have. Uh, all the other stuff in it, the onions, the celery, the carrots, really, really, really help this recipe. And then just use sugar instead of, unless you can find corn syrup that don't have any other additives in it. Anyhow, I'm telling you, these are, and believe me, I have ate many this week, many. And uh, nothing wrong with that right there. And everybody will love them, but man, kids will tear these up. I love y'all all, every one of you. Y'all come back to see me. Y'all have a good night and bye-bye.